Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Tullahoma, Tennessee and we would like to say Happy St. Patrick's Day by the way. We're getting ready to take you guys along with us to the Celtic Cup. Celtic Cup. Whoopa. Here is a look at the menu. They have English toasties, house quiche, traditional English muffins. They also have a variety of soups, including hearty soups, house loaded soup, and today is the Dublin Coddle soup, which is the soup of the day. They also have fresh salads, such as house tuna salad and Mediterranean feta. There's a wide variety of sandwiches, such as the traditional Reuben, the Celtic Club, Chicken Salad Wrap, Mediterranean Euro, or Gyro, depending on where you're located is how you pronounce that, and the European Grilled Cheese. So here are the espresso drinks that they have to choose from. And here is the coffee menu. And if you're into frappes, they have a long list of different frappes to choose from. And here are some cold drinks. As far as Celtic fare, they have the chef salad, Irish rarebit. They also have scotch eggs and Scottish shortbread. All right, so Henry got some potato soup. How is it, buddy? Jennifer got some, and Gentry got some. All right, Jennifer's getting ready to take her first bite of potato soup here. Let's take a look at those potatoes. All right, it looks like there's some carrots in there. What else is in there, Jennifer? It looks like green onions, and then um, the potatoes, they're cooked perfectly. They're not mushy, they're just like, just a, enough of a bite. And the flavor is just really, really great in this soup. So this is really good. It's very um, good on this um, chilly, rainy day. And there's a little bit of uh, pepper in the, the flavoring of the soup as well, which is really welcome to, on a chilly day. So I got what is called the Dublin Coddle, which Dublin Coddle is a combination of Irish sausage. There's bacon that's also in here. And it's almost like an Irish stew. It's called Dublin Coddle. And I also got a scotch egg, which is sausage on the outside. It's a hard boiled egg on the inside. I don't know what type of sauce that is, but once I taste it, I'll kind of let you know what I think it is. And over here, we have a gyro, also known as a gyro, depending on what part of the country you're in. And it came with mushrooms. And I think we had the option to also get pickle spears according to the menu, but uh, forgot to ask for pickle spears instead of mushrooms. Interesting combination, but I think it'll work. All right, first bite. Here we go, the Dublin Coddle. It's warm, it's hearty, it's meaty uh, with the potatoes. Honestly, you could probably go with a big bowl of this and make it a complete meal um, because there's just so much protein and heartiness in this. Um, there's also, I did not notice initially, there's also some carrots in here. And you can see all these herbs and spices up close very flavorful all right gentry and henry both got a turkey and cheese panini as well as a reuben and they both got a pickle spear so they're going to split theirs all right jennifer what'd you end up getting there i got the traditional reuben somehow i don't think we're surprised by that right <laughs> <No>. <laughs> big reuben fan right here yes so there's Thousand Island, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, and then you've got the marble rye that is toasted. All right, Jennifer, what are your thoughts? This is really, really good. It's a very hearty sandwich, which is good. And um, it's just very good and melty and 
you've got just enough meat on there and then you taste like the sourness of the sauerkraut and the Thousand Island. Very, very good sandwich. All right, here is a close up of the Scottish egg. Now we recently went to a, an Irish restaurant up in Nashville. Um, however, it was not a true Scottish egg. It just had breading on the outside. This is a true Scottish egg because it has a sausage on the outside. And this is a garlic aioli sauce. So I'm gonna take one bite without the garlic aioli and then one bite with. Look how thick that sausage is. Thick sausage, delicious sausage. You can taste the, really taste the sage in that. I'm gonna try it with the garlic aioli. You know, we had a recommendation from one of our viewers to come here about a year ago. And I typically always write down the name when someone refers us to go somewhere and I totally forgot to write down the name. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for recommending this place. So far, two for two, fantastic. Go ahead and try one of those marinated mushrooms here. You can see the spices. It's a cold mushroom. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a warm mushroom. I like mushrooms, so I am a fan of these. Um, it's almost like a vinegar sauce that they have cooked in them. Take a look at this lamb. Right here, the tzatziki sauce. Oh, I was thinking there wasn't a whole lot of tzatziki sauce in there, but it's mixed in with the, the greens and the tomatoes. Here we go. First bite, I want to make sure I got a lot of lamb in that bite. I know I'm a big fan of tzatziki sauce, and they did not shy away from filling that thing up, especially for the price. The price is really good, um, considering how much meat and ingredients are in here. I'm loving the Celtic Cup. Gentry, how's that turkey and party sandwich there? Really good, and I would prefer this than that because of the sour trial on it. So you're a bigger fan of the turkey? Yes. All right, Henry, what is your favorite sandwich between the two? Did you like the Reuben or do you like the turkey? And... Um, this is the winner. That's the winner right there? Turkey and Havarti, right? Turkey and Havarti. And you like this onion dressing. And there's also an onion dressing here. You like the dressing, right? It's an onion dressing. We got it off to the side because we didn't know if he'd like it on the sandwich, but he was just taking his bread from his Reuben, which he wasn't a fan of, and dipping the bread right here in the onion dressing. Check this out. They've got some Scottish salt and pepper shakers here. And here are some cups that you can purchase. Down here we've got some playing cards. Here you can see some sea salted caramel, Oreos, New York cheesecake. Over here they have blood orange, dark chocolate. Right here is a tort and spiced rum raisin. This is really cool. They have some turf peat incense Irish pub burner sets. And these are very popular in Europe here. These are digestives. Little post meal cookies, shortbread cookies. Up here we've got some fries, peppermint cream and chocolate cream. Some more digestives here. Hobnobs. And right here is some haggis, which is almost like a meatloaf in a can, I guess is the best way to, to describe it there. Here's some different sauces that you could purchase. Applesauce, mint sauce. Over here. We've got some sticky toffee sauce, ham glaze, and marmalade. Jennifer found a little container here for the milk for your tea. At least that's what we think it is. Here are some different pastries to choose from. Bread pudding. Down here we've got a chocolate hedgehog butter croissant. Chocolate tort. Cheddar scones. The cinnamon rolls look really good. Bistro pastry. Right up here we have a oat and currant scone. Hope I pronounced that correctly. With scotch cream glaze. The Irish cream scones must have been good. They're gone. And final bill before tax and after tip came out to $61. That was the Celtic Cup. 
Henry, what did you think about the Celtic Cup? It was good. And, um, I liked it. Tell us about your sandwich. Or sandwiches. And you also got soup. Um, the black sandwich was not good. But... That was the rye the bread. The white cheesy sandwich was good. Okay, the turkey and cheese. What about your potato soup? Uh-huh. Red, red skin potatoes. <laughs> yeah. All right. And Gentry, what'd you think? I gotta say, this is really good. Um, I like the turkey sandwich more than the Reuben. And um, for a place that's been built and established in 1759, I gotta say, it's really come a long way. Oh, I have no idea it was built in 1759. You saw a Guinness sign. It is at a stop. <laughs> That's, why That's a different yeah. product, not the building, buddy. <laughs> All right, and Jennifer. Um, I really enjoyed this place. It's a very calm place. Um, I really like how they play the Irish music in the background and everything, and you're smelling coffee and the different uh, food that they're cooking and everything. The uh, potato soup was really, really good. I think you should definitely try that, and the Reuben was good as well. I have to say, when it comes to the food, I was very impressed with the food. The scotch egg was delicious. Uh, Gentry did not end up eating his Reuben, so I ended up eating that for him. I couldn't eat all of my food. It was just too much. We were going to order the rare bit, and I'm glad that we didn't <laughs> because there's no way we could have eaten all of that. Uh, and by accident, actually, we were all going to share that. Um, and then after we sat down, we realized, hey, uh, we didn't order it. And if I did have one critique, it would only be that we did not have any ice with our sweet tea. Not a big deal, not even enough for us to mention, hey, can we have some ice? Uh, but it was a little bit different, especially being here in the South. Uh, it's probably the first time we've ever been to a restaurant where there wasn't ice in our sweet tea. Uh, the owners have gone to um, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, England, uh, and they have learned how to cook appropriately these Irish meals, these Celtic meals. So if you're coming here for the food, it is where it's at. We wanted to try some coffee, but it's busy here. This is a hopping place. Um, if you look over here, there's a huge parking lot right over here. There's another parking lot up front. So for a very small building, as small as this building is, there's a lot of people coming here, which is a testament to how great their food is. And I assume their coffee is good too. We'll have to come back another time and maybe try that out. Hey guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every, Every Day, Day is Saturday. Saturday. Woo! All right, so we are now in downtown Tullahoma. And we are getting ready to... By the way, Tullahoma is known for its Sundrop distribution. There you can see a ton of Sundrop trucks. Here's a little ad. And we're getting ready to go to a soda shop that specializes in Sundrop. Uh, Are you ready? Yeah! Are you oh ready? yeah, baby! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go inside and it looks like they have sandwiches, breakfast, ice cream, salads, but we are here for the drinks and dessert. There's a dog driving a car. There's a what? Dog driving a car over there. There is a dog driving a car. All right, so here is a look at the Soda Fountain favorites and sweet treats. They have Sundrop Floats, Cherry Sundrop Floats, RC Cola Floats, another famous thing here in the South, Stewart's Root Beer Floats, Sunkissed, Milk, Milkshakes and Malts, Ice Cream Sundaes, just single scoops of ice cream, or even gelato, that's cool. Miss Daisy's Blondie Sunday, Sundrop Cake, Miss Barbara's Bakery Special, bottomless fountain beverages and you can see down here they even have whole milk orange juice and a variety of canned drinks as well right there a, an ice cold glass of royal crown cola and check this out jennifer just noticed this on top of this rc cola float they have a moon pie and as you know nothing goes better with an rc cola than a moon pie <laughs> Is it good? All right, Gentry, you gonna take your first sip there? 
<laughs> Jennifer, what did you get? I got a chocolate malt. That looks so good. Yes. I'm a chocoholic and this is like full of chocolate chocolatey goodness. <laughs> so I ended up getting the sun drop bunt cake and it has a sun drop glaze on the outside. Look how moist that is. Look at that. So well, let's see how it tastes. Sun drop is a drink, it's really good. Let's try it out as a cake. Got a little bit of that sun drop glaze on there. Here we go. So normally I don't like lemony desserts, but I do love this. It's like a sweet lemony dessert is the best way to describe it. It's that sun drop taste, that sweet sun drop. And Gentry, you've torn yours up. <laughs> <laughs> so Henry is done with his paper straw there. The paper straw kind of dissolves. So what's your new strategy, Henry? 